Hello, are there students? We are not done yet. So far as the replication of DNA is concerned. Don't forget that the structure of DNA described in the previous video is termed semi-conservative. Semi-conservative. Semi conservative. You understand the word conservative. Somebody is a conservative. A senior who will say I was bullied when I came to this school. So I was bullying my genius. I think it's, a, it's said to be conservative. We want to hold on to the, 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 the old obsolete values. Obsolete values, archaic values. Okay? You are conservative. So this one is not fully conservative, it's semi-conservative because each new molecule form has one old strand and one new strand. Each new molecule of DNA form has one old strand and uh, one new strand. So, this original molecule. Okay? During the formation, what happened? Each of the old strands become a template. And according to the base pairing rule that we just described, this is the newly formed strand. Wonderful. So it's said to be semi-conservative. Because each new molecule, new molecule, has one old strand and one new strand. I hope it's clear. One old strand and one new strand. Are you okay? That is that. I want us to understand the DNA replication. The topic that people think is one of the difficult topics they met in uh, whatever. The, 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 the studying biology at this level, even and beyond. Let us crash it to the smallest unit. Okay? Because there are two things. You better crash it to you or you crash it. So you better crash it and kill it. In fact, we want to put a stop to this so that those who even follow you from now on, no topic will be labeled as difficult or complex. Let me tell you that some of you were told before you entered school that math was difficult, science was difficult. But if you kill it for the next 10 years, who is going to tell the younger one that this topic is difficult? Who is going to tell them that, hey, are you going to do the molecular biology or cell biology? Or DNA is a difficult topic because it's not difficult. It's interesting. It's, it's a practical topic that you help to even understand human nature. Okay? So please, we, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are careful in this. Okay? We are, we are very particular about this. Okay. So, this is the original. We use red for original. Okay? Original. This becomes uh, one original. Sorry. How about if this also replicate one day? They still have one original. Okay. Then let me use another one. Okay, I'll use. I think two more color will make it complete. So let's use black for all the new ones. Okay, black for all the new ones. We just want to entertain the mother one, the grandmother. Okay, is that it? New one. So you realize that even after 100 replication, we only have two strands that have the original template. Meanwhile, the arrangement of base will also be the same. Are you okay? I hope you are with me. What about this one again? Also divide. Let me use red here. So, all new ones are black.
So this is the first replication. This is the second replication. This is the third replication. So at our first replication, how many DNA molecules, okay, original molecule can be obtained? Two. Third replication, how many? Four. Sorry. At our first, how many? Two. At our second, how many? Four. After third, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can get a link. You can get a formula. The number after particular number of replication is 2 raised to the power n, where n is a number of a replication, right? The, so at the first replication, how many strands? 2 raised to the power 1, 2. At the second replication, 2 raised to the power 2, 4. Third replication, 2 raised to the power 3, 2 times 2 times 2. Is that 8? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So after fourth replication, that's your homework. Go and do it and come and tell me. Okay? So we are going to get 2 raised to the power 4. Or we should do it at once. Okay? 2 times 2, that's 4, times 2, 8, times 2, 16. But your homework is still there. Go and do it and come and tell us whether these are correct or not. Let's look at enzymes involved in um, DNA replication. Then I will move to the next video and solve questions. Summarize it, okay? We have three enzymes. We have the Helicase, helicase, enzymes in DNA replication, enzymes in DNA replication, we have um, helicase, then we have DNA polymerase, DNA polymerase. Then we have ligase. Let's look at their functions. Helicase opens the strand, the double stranded uh, molecule. Helicase breaks the hydrogen bond and opens up the strands. Polymerase joins the nucleotides to form polynucleotide. Okay, responsible for the bond holding them. The ligase will join uh, smaller polynucleotide to form very long ones. Okay? It will join smaller polynucleotide to form rather longer polynucleotides. I hope it is clear. So that we have that. Helicase breaks the bond, hydrogen bond, between the two strands, open up the strands. Polymerase, DNA polymerase, we have different type of polymerase. So DNA polymerase specifically will join the nucleotides, form a bond between the nucleotides to form polynucleotides. Okay, but if you want, let's write the word mega. Okay, <laughs> mega polynucleotide, that's for, for mega people, okay? Then you have another enzyme, ligase, to form this, to join smaller polynucleotide, to form very large polynucleotides. That is enzyme, please, it's very important. Maybe ask to name the enzyme involved in uh, DNA replication or the role of each of the following enzyme in DNA replication. How do you crush them for us? Helicase, polymerase, and
Kali case. Which one joins smaller polynucleotide to form larger ones? That's ligase. Which one opens up the chain for objective? Which one opens up the chain? The polynucleotide chain. Is that it? Which one opens them up? That is helicase. Which one is responsible for formation of the phosphodiester bond? DNA polymerase, not just polymerase. Let us look at some likely examination questions on nucleic acids. This also gave us a summary of what you have learned and uh, organized as well to fully understand the topic. Don't forget this topic is um, nucleic acid and you can refer to Omega-1 for more information. Okay, let's look at the first question on the screen. What is DNA replication? Why is a DNA replication? Okay. You remember that we said a DNA replication is a process by which a molecule of DNA copies itself. Okay? Process by which a molecule of DNA copies itself. Okay? That is a DNA replication. Number two. Give one significance of the process name above. DNA replication ensures that every cell receives exact copy of genetic information after cell division. Replication occurs before uh, cell division, immediately before cell division. It's one of the preparatory stages to cell division. You understand me? So significance is that at the end of the cell division, yes, the cell, you know, will think faster of what will happen at the end of my division. You know, replication. When your mother was going to give birth to you, he bought a new bucket to increase the number of buckets in the house. You see? If, if DNA replicate before cell divides, what about you? Who don't have a second bucket? You are giving birth. Uh, advise yourself, right? Uh, you have to replicate. Have more before you give birth, okay? To ensure that every cell will receive a exact copy of genetic information after cell division. That's significance. That's importance. That is the, the reason why it must happen. Next question. What time in the life of a cell does DNA replication okay? Does DNA replication okay? So the answer is immediately before cell division. Okay? immediately before cell division. But when you get to mitosis, meiosis, you realize that the, 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 the time, the stage is known as interface. But for now, immediately before cell division. Okay. Immediately before cell division. That's interface. The next question. Name the main enzyme that controls DNA replication. The main enzyme that controls DNA replication. In fact, we have three enzymes. We have three enzymes. Three enzymes are there. But the main one that controls is a DNA polymerase. Okay? The one that controls DNA polymerase. Right? DNA polymerase controls it. The next question. Why is the method of DNA replication explained by Watson and Crick? Referred to as semi-conservative. Why? Is it referred to as semi-conservative? Semi-conservative. Conservative but not fully conservative. Semi. The reason is that because each new molecule of DNA form has one old strand and one new strand. You remember we illustrated it with a red marker and a black one. Has one old and one new molecule. Strand. Let's look at the next question. Which scientific method was used to discover the DNA structure? We may see in one of our videos that is the X-ray crystallography. So this is a could be a typical objective question where possible answers will be there. 
okay maybe alpha scattering experiment okay <laughs> and this one will also be that this is the answer it could also be a short tracked question in a typical question five that why sets today let's look at the next the, let's look at the last question on this video Name the two scientists who proposed the structure of the DNA. Name the two scientists who proposed the structure of the DNA. Please, if you don't begin this name with capital letters, sorry for you. Why I could not mind you? Because it's assumed that you passed through class one before coming here, where you were told that the name of a person begin with a capital letter. Huh? That is why your mother sent you to class one before coming to secondary school. Like they have waited for you to go to this thing and just bring you to uh, uh, GHS one. Because you can speak English and write. But pass through class one to tell you that capital A, capital B, you spell the name of your father. They say cap uh, father's name is John. They spell it capital J, then you say O H N. Is that it? Okay, so please, it's very important. I know what I'm saying. Because most of you just pick your pen and say James Mo. So the first one is James Watson. James D. Watson. But James Watson will be okay. In fact, the same names are very important. They are very important. If you write George Watson, they will not mind you. But if you write Watson, they're likely to consider your age. Huh? Because you can refer to, you can refer to somebody by sending okay so the first one is James Watson and the second one is Francis Crick Francis Crick thank you for watching don't move away stay tuned join us in the next video where we continue to digest nucleic acid to the smallest particle for it to diffuse into our system so it can be displayed anywhere, anyhow, such a question is giving us. Thank you. Yeah.